Thank you, UNESCO, for organizing this event. Botswana, like many other countries around the world, has been affected by COVID-19 pandemic. The education sector was not spared by the, um, this COVID-19 pandemic. This has resulted in the suspension of classes too, and the face-to-face -face learning. And that displaced the international students' enrollment in our uh, tertiary education. At the national level, Botswana established the COVID-19 task force, which was chaired by His Excellency the President. Botswana continues to use all uh, forms of media to engage public learners, educators, and other stakeholders about the COVID-19. To ensure continued learning and that no one is left behind, tertiary education institutions with the help of the private sector, especially internet service providers, has adopted to the hybrid type of teaching. In an effort to accelerate the attainment of SDG4 initiatives, Botswana has embarked on e-education policy development, strengthening of quality assurance processes, including online qualifications through the Botswana Qualification Authority, and strengthening of partnership between the government and the private sector in the development of online learning infrastructure and human resource development. In conclusion, like most countries throughout the sub-Saharan Africa, Botswana doesn't have enough intensive care beds ventilators or adequate training healthcare workers to manage a major outbreak such as this pandemic. Mr. Chairperson, Madam Chairperson, containing COVID-19 transmission remains an urgent priority. COVID-19 vaccines are inadequate in the country. Supplies have started to trickle in in March 2021, and there's need for accelerated funding for procurement of vaccines against the COVID-19. I thank you very much, Madam Chairperson.